Hello there people, hope you're fine out there on YouTube, this is Roger for the Splish Splash from Sweden and today you're watching in the background by the way, the official gameplay announcement trailer when it comes to the new Half-Life game called Alex, which is gonna be a VR game and that suits me like a hand in the glove because I like to play me some VR games, so you will see me covering that game on my channel when it's gonna be released in March. Before that, you're gonna have a great opportunity to actually tune in and watch other videos on my channel. So if you want to do that, subscribe and put on the notification bell. You know that, that kind of drill. Anywho, today I want to say something you might already know, but I have to do it because I'm a gamer by heart. I've been playing games for a very long time. And one of the series, the games that I've been playing is of course the Half-Life series. So right now you're able to go on to Steam some show in here and download uh, the Half-Life games and you might say why should I play this I mean these are like old games I want to play new games well sure you can do that but don't forget that there's a lot of good games that were made before the new ones before maybe even you were born who knows let me know in the comment section what you think about that because I do think so and that's why I'm actually doing this video so here go on to Steam I will put the link uh, in the description actually at the beginning of the description so you can just go on to there and start to download the games if you feel that you don't want to play the first Half-Life game just step into number two directly to actually get an experience what I'm talking about uh, and again some people might say no don't do that you have to play the first one first and in many ways that makes sense and it's true but you can actually get a good experience and catch up so to speak by just going straight into Half-Life 2 as well if that's what you want to do. And again, talking about the new upcoming Half-Life Alex, it's set before the events of Half-Life 2. Uh, the game shares characters and story elements though. So the Half-Life Alex team believes that the best way to enjoy the new game is to play through the old ones of course. So if you have a VR headset and if you intend to play the new Half-Life Alex, I highly recommend you to do so, meaning playing the older games. And especially Half-Life 2 again in the episode. So we yeah, want to make that as easy as possible. That's what Valve explained themselves in the last kind of announcement they did regarding this. Valve are also throwing in some older expansion packs that are made by other studios, Half-Life Opposite Force and Half-Life Blue Shift, uh, which tell events of the first game from new perspectives. Uh, maybe a bit less relevant for, you know, but still nice if you want to get stuck in. So again, the Half-Life games might not seem so remarkable right now for newcomers. It's been decades, you know, other studios following Valve's example and, and using some of the features that were like made to, to these games. But even if you don't have the super urge to check them out, at least as I told you, try out Half-Life 2 and see what you think. So let me know in the comment section if you are one of those gamers that have played the Half-Life games and what did you think about them? Did you play it once or even twice? I'm interested to know. And have a great day. I hope you're going to enjoy this until March. Uh, and as I told you guys, I will be covering the new Half-Life Alex game when it comes out on VR. Until then, game on. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.